Okay, Dr. Mindy here, and I'm going on with my brain reset tips for you all. And today I wanna to talk about the power of fasting on your brain. So if you're in my Resetter group, you know we're every, we spend five days out of every month working on some type of what I call fast training week, where people in my group are working on exercising the fasting muscle. And a lot of people in that group have really had uh, questions about the power of dry fasting. So today I wanna to talk about why you would dry fast and the impact that it would have on the brain. Now, to, to back up a moment, let me tell you, I think there is no greater benefit to the brain than starting to incorporate some lifestyle that has fasting in it. So whether it's intermittent fasting, dinner to dinner fasting, dry fasting, water fasting, all of those have incredible benefit to your brain. But I'm a research gal, I like the science. So I can tell you that we have, uh, there is research showing that dry fasting will do two major, have two major benefits to your brain. The first is it increases BDNF. So we talked about that in my last video on exercise. BDNF is like miracle grow for the brain. So dry fast compared to other fasting has an incredible ability to, to help your body get a big surge of BDNF, which will help your neurons, which are the parts of the brain that start to carry information, will help your neurons actually carry information quicker. It'll help you grow more neurons. So dry fasting is really beneficial there. The second thing that dry fasting does incredibly well is it helps lower inflammation. So uh, they've done studies showing that people who've been on a 12 to 24 hour dry fast will bring their CRP levels down. Uh, CRP is an indicator in the blood of chronic inflammation. So I personally love to throw some dry fasting into my weekly routine, sometimes into uh, my monthly routine. Uh, the way that you, I think a dry fast fasting should be approached is you should do anywhere from 12 to 24 hours. I personally do not think you should do more than 24 hours. So, and I, and I think if you have any apprehension about fasting or dry fasting, you need to um, go uh, connect with your, go, go get coached or have a doctor who's familiar with fasting work with you. So, um, so don't try to do an extended multi-day dry fast. That's my, my number one concern for many of you, okay? So, but as far as brain power goes, dry fasting is fantastic. What dry fasting looks like is basically what it sounds like. <laughs> No food, no water for 12 to 24 hours. Some people even believe you don't brush your teeth. That, that, that's what we call a hard dry fast where uh, you don't brush your teeth, you don't take a shower. The idea is that not only are you stimulating BDNF, you're lowering inflammation, but you are also asking the body to go find water somewhere else. You're not, you're not giving the body water, so it has to go find it somewhere else and it goes and finds it in the fat. So it'll start to metabolize fat quicker. So a lot of people who are using fasting for weight loss love dry fasting for that. The other thing you'll find with dry fasting is that it will improve your ketones. You'll get higher ketone production. Ketones are also healing for the brain. So it's a super cool way to fast. Don't, get, don't miss out on it. Uh, I would say for sure it's pretty common for people to be apprehensive when they first start to learn about dry fasting. But once you incorporate it into your routine, you'll see that it's actually pretty easy. Um, again, if you have any concern, you should be coached by, by a health coach or doctor going through it. Um, but as far as doing a 12 to 24 hour, uh, it, it, there's a tremendous amount of benefit. The last thing I'm going to say on dry fasting is a lot, there's a lot of talk in the fasting world that it's three times the amount of autophagy. So that's pretty cool. If you don't know what autophagy is, that's where your cells start to eat the toxins that are inside of them. So three times the amount, meaning one day of dry fasting is equivalent to three days of water fasting. That is, is the belief system in the fasting community right now. So pretty cool that, to, to do dry fasting to get that benefit as well. So I did an article on my webpage. You can go look at, go check it out. 
Uh, just go to drmindypels.com. I have all the studies that ha uh, I could find on dry fasting, the research studies I, I, I cite in that article. Uh, so if you just type in benefits of dry fasting into Google, you'll see my article come up. I did a video on YouTube on it. You can find it there as well. And if you want to know more about dry fasting uh, or fasting in general, just put resetters in the group or in your comment section. I'll invite you over to my reset group and uh, we, you can start to join in on our five day fast. If you want to know more about the brain and you want to know more about how to improve your brain, October 27th, I'm doing a brain event and I'm going to show you exactly how you prevent memory loss, dementia, how you can reverse anxiety, depression. All those brain uh, situations are a lifestyle situation. Fasting will absolutely help, but there's a lifestyle you can create to make sure this thing works 120 years and beyond. So. As always, you're a miracle. Don't ever forget it. Your body's a miracle. And I, from the bottom of my heart, hope that helps.